How's it going, everyone? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. I'm coming to you once again from my art studio to paint one of these larger paintings today. This is a 24 by 36 stretched canvas. Stretched. Stretched canvas. Um, I'm going to do something awesome today, as always. Mr. Magical will do something super awesome. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. And here we go. I'm gonna do a... Let's do a sailboat with, you know, a sunset, that kind of thing. Inspiration. That kind of inspiration. Let's go for it. So thank you so much for subscribing, those of you who have been uh, into, into my videos. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot to me. It really does. Um, it's just super awesome. Yeah. I like it. Now here's something that I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you guys when I do it. Okay. Um, I think I said it in another video, but I'm going to say it again, because I can. <laughs> um, make sure to, uh, make sure to draw with the brush, okay? Or, or at least attempt to, if, if you guys are watching for that purpose. Those of you who are watching to enjoy some cool magic, then just hang on tight, because this is an awesome... An awesome one. It is literally the zone here. Okay? So hang on. <laughs> So, let's do some yellow. Now remember guys, again, don't get caught up in the, in the technical aspect of it, okay? Um, so much that you miss out the real stuff. The real stuff is the expression, the artwork, right? It's, also, it's important to pay attention to the, to, you know, what, what, for those of you who need to know what yellow this is, this is cadmium yellow, pale. Uh, but uh, it, it, it would work the same with any other yellow, okay? <laughs> It'd just not be me. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> if we had other artists. Or if you me some other time. <laughs> It'd be me if, oh man, I forgot to go by yellow. And there I go with my wife running. The store <laughs> to the art supply store. How awesome is that? How awesome it is that you get to to do artwork for a living. This is uh, I'm forever grateful. This is awesome. Sometimes I forget how awesome this is, but, you know, then I have to remind myself. It's like, hey, what's up, dude? I'm being grateful. You get to be a kid all over again, all the time. Every day you get to be the kid. I'm doing a little salmon pink right here, a little salmon sky. Again, I love playing with this brad cadmiums, okay? It's just uh, something that I employed early on. I love playing with them. But uh, it'd be the same with for me, and I'm being honest to you guys, it would be the same whether I paint with this or not. It's just that I'm used to it. I'm very much used to it. It would probably, if I use a whole other set of colors, maybe it would just, you know, because it's, it's not in the color, it's not in the paint. Uh, it would probably take a little bit to readjust. But 
nonetheless, I would still shine through. <laughs> I would still shine through. <laughs> Let go of this stuff. Oh man. And you know, uh, own it. Okay, this is one of the other things. Own it. And, and this will take practice, okay? You're gonna start, but nonetheless, if you're watching for that purpose, for like, oh, I wanna see what I can learn from this cat. Um, well, this is one of the things. Make sure you own the canvas. Don't let it own you. Okay, what I mean by that is be a little aggressive with it. Don't punch a hole in there, but be a little aggressive with it. Show who's box. And the canvas will begin to respect you. Okay? And also, the canvas will respect you even more if you, if you show up every day to paint. That, that will really, that, the canvas will be like, oh, master, welcome back. Okay? But, uh, start trying that. Start, start, start owning it. Be a bit, a, a bit aggressive, you know? You have to be a little bit, don't, don't especially if you're painting this, this type of deal, like me, okay? Don't, um... Don't, don't be too cute with it, you know, don't be like, oh, let me see, no, like, really, you know, really go in there. Right? Something like that. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. So what I'm doing is, is uh, what I mentioned the other time, guys, I'm blocking, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm putting some blocks. And those of you who haven't seen what I've done uh, from last time, it's okay. Because I will repeat it here. Make sure you block first. If, especially, especially when you're doing larger pieces, it's very helpful. Now, I don't paint every single painting like this, okay? So don't be like, next time you see me in a video, you'll be like, man, what happened to blocking? <laughs> well, not today, okay? But, I'm just saying. <laughs> try to, uh, try to do it either way, okay? Whenever you can. Especially, again, in large pieces like this. You wanna, you wanna block your, your, your colors first. It's just, you know, you know, it's, it's a little, it helps sometimes, many times, I don't know. Now notice something that I'm doing here, this is another cool thing that I'm doing. Sometimes the bigger the brush, the closer you want to be to the tip, okay? The bigger the brush, the closer you want to be to the, of course, to the brush. Reason why is because the heavier it is, you lose, you tend to lose a little bit unless, unless you're a cool guy like me and you start using your brush like this every now and then, okay? But you lose, um, you don't lose balance, you, maybe a little bit, you lose precision. So this is something that you get with time. When I used to work construction, I, er I found out early on that if I wanted control over the hammer, I need to get it closer to the to the iron part, to the hammer head, and put my thumb. You know, it, it guides, right? Well, it's, it's it's very similar to this. When I'm painting, I put my thumb here. You know, it, it's it sort of helps me guide. Anyways, I get caught up on that either. <laughs> I just give it a little nuggets as we go. Little stuff here and there. You know, many artists don't like to talk about this kind of stuff because it's it's my secret. No, it ain't your secret. Everybody's been painting like that forever. Your your, your secret is, is is that you 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 uh is is you is that you're painting you. It's not something you necessarily do. I mean, there's there's some you know little things that artists do that. Like that part, uh, that, that probably that, uh, what was his name, uh, Vermeer, he probably was using that camera obscura, if you want anyone to find out.
Google Camera Obscura, that's a pretty neat object. Um, I remember he didn't want anyone to find out, oh no, I want anyone to find out, I'm like doing this awesome thing. Uh, maybe those are some like awesome industry secrets that are hidden. <laughs> but other than that, the rest of us are not using cameras. Good. The rest of us are not, are not um, that high tech. Although when I saw uh, Kehinde Wiley, uh, his exhibit, I was like blown away. And then I saw uh, um, a little short video of his portraits, right? How he uh, used uh, Photoshop, and, you know, to kind of place the composition of his portrait. That kind of stuff is awesome. But it's not a hidden secret. I mean, it's not like he's using something secretive that not everybody knows. Nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Something very cool to practice uh, that I like to do is is to, especially at the end, this is something else that I learned on my own. <laughs> uh, fortunately, or unfortunately, I don't know. I used to be a, a paint and lacquer technician at a, a paint company here. And, uh, and I did that before I, I went full time as an artist. And we used to test uh, viscosity and and all kinds of things, you know, as uh, as as it comes to uh, paint, lacquers, and uh, all kinds of awesome binders. And I learned a lot about it helped me a lot about painting too. Believe it or not, I mean, maybe. Maybe you do believe it. <laughs> hey, working there. Because I was, uh, I was the guy uh, pretty much in charge of the whole thing. Someone was, was training me back and forth from, from uh, Singapore. They would come and train me and then and, uh, allow me to, to, to test and experiment, you know, to a certain degree. Um, how certain how they have certain paints or, or certain thinners or lacquers or you know especially those the, the, the water ones the water soluble ones uh, how they reacted right so one of the things that I learned there that I really I, I started employing in painting was to uh, when we tested it on, on, on furniture especially uh, what they call it it's like finishing right it's finishing the furniture uh, in order for us to go and sell it to the, to the manufacturers. One of the things that we used to do is that, it's, it's uh, most people know this, right? Most people that are into that know this, but, for example, if the veil, if the sale, right? If the sale is, uh, if the sale's running that way, right? The, 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 the cloth of sale, don't paint up, right? Do it in the beginning, right? You wanna do that in the beginning. In order to block it, but once once you got the blocking, the rest of the stuff uh, go with the grain. <laughs> Duh, right? <laughs> I said so much just to say go with the grain. That's exactly what it is. You want to go with the grain. Why? Because you're not opposed. You're not. It's it's not an opposition. So I'll give you just that little tip right there. If, if the bolt is like this, right, that, not, that doesn't necessarily mean the grain, that's, that's the flow of the artwork, right? But if the bolt, if you took a picture or you're in front of a, a bolt or whatever, if you see that, that the grain is going this way, then, then you want to paint the brushwork that way, so that you go with the grain. Anyways, it's a very simple uh, little technique, but very, very helpful. Sorry, I have to leave for a little bit. I'm, I'm right here. 
It's a little, little simple technique, but it's very, very helpful when you're, um, when you're finishing artwork, whatever that means for you finishing. Right? For example, when I did portraits, um, or I still do them, but when I, when I did them more often, I guess. <laughs> uh, the portraits, the, let's say that the nose was, I don't know, let's say the nose was like right here, right? This is the nose, the face, right? Uh, what I would do is is see what direction the nose was 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 uh, more was going more in the in the in the structure of the face. Anyways, don't get caught up in that. <laughs> so rather than just paint like like oh I'm gonna paint like this. If if the nose was pointy up, I would do this. If the nose was you know going down, I would do this. Anyways, little 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 stuff that helped me. So, just a little fancy art right there. I hope you saw that. My camera is, uh, it's not, um, it's not the greatest, but it does the job. All right. So that's how I do it guys, that's, you know, that's kind of like the, the whole thing, very simple stuff, very simple, it, it, it's meant for you to, to, to uh, for me I guess, <laughs> to, to really enjoy the process, I want to enjoy the process, now I may not be comfortable, right, but I'm still enjoying it. It, they, I'm still a, a little afraid here and they're like, oh, what am I going to do there? What am I going to do there? You know, that still happens to me. Don't think that it doesn't. If it doesn't, that means that you're just careless. It, it, it does. I'm still a little, I'm still a lot sometimes uncomfortable, right? But the level of, um, of even if I'm uncomfortable, the level of, um, uh, what would you call this? Certainty is still higher. Because of the, of the practice, right? It's still higher. So even though I'm uncomfortable, I'm like, oh, what am I going to do there? How am I going to, you know? There's, there's that going in the back of my mind. Uh, certainty will trump it because, because the, the practice is there. Yeah. If the practice wasn't there, then I'd be like, oh, man, what am I going to do there? Right? And um, when the practice is not there, uh, there's always going to be a, a higher level of uncertainty. And it's okay. It's just it just means that hey, you know what? I just gotta practice more. And um, I I urge you to not feel um, the heaviness of that. You don't you don't need to because this is the way I look at it. Okay, you want to take you want to take your artworks. You want to take your artwork light and your work. Take the, in artwork, <laughs> there I am all saying all kinds of crazy stuff again. <laughs> just watch me pay. No, I'm just... <laughs> in artwork, this is something, something neat that I feel like, you know, I want to share, I came up with. In artwork, you want to take the art part, light, and the work part, serious. Okay? I swear to God, I didn't copy that up from anywhere. I wish I did, but I didn't. So that I could be like, you know, Monet said this, but nope. It's just something that uh, I like to, my little, my little mantra, right? Okay? When it comes to artwork, you want to take the art part light and the work part. You want to take that that serious because that's how, that's how you're going to get better at it. You know, and again, whatever better is for you. Better for you may not be better for me, or whatever, you know, I don't know. But that's how I do it. I, I quote-unquote, worry more on, on whether I'm painting than whether uh, how I'm painting. 
the how I know will fix on its own if I just show up. This is something that I'm still learning because it's it can be difficult to understand, you know, especially because you um, you uh, you can get easily discour discouraged, you know. If if you miss a couple of days. Um, Painting, and I mean a couple of days, not two days, but like, you know, a few days. Uh, you're going to feel it, you know. You might even feel hard, difficult again to get back in the studio. For those of you who are artists. For those of you who are not artists, who maybe are artists but not painters. It's probably the same thing, you know, in, in photography. Or, I don't know, you may be experiencing, I, I would assume it's the same thing. But I don't know. To me, it really comes down to that. It really comes down to, hey, was I, uh, was I in the studio? That's really all that matters to me. It was was I in the studio? Was I outside painting? Was I sketching? Uh, not not anymore. How the how was very important in the beginning, guys. And I know that that those of you who are starting, the how is very important right now because uh, you need gauges, right, to tell you where you're at. You know, what, what level you're at, that's really, uh, is very important when you're starting for, for, for an artist, right? What, 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 please tell me, where, where am I, you know? Or maybe you're not, you're not that person, maybe you're not, you're not asking around, please tell me where am I, if I'm good or not. But, but you want something that satisfies your personal, you know, your, yourself, something that satisfies you. And something that you could be like, well, I know where I'm at, you know? I'm not pretty good, or I'm not, or whatever. That's very important in the beginning. After a while, uh, what I believe is more important, after a good while, a very good while, <laughs> it, you start noticing that um, showing up is much more valuable. Okay? Showing up is, is really where the where, where um, there's a, a saying in Mexico, uh, something along the lines of, of in showing up, I don't want to do a free translation, is where men become men. You know, it's, and I, I guess you could use it for women too, why not? <laughs> but is it showing up, you know? It's where the the true color shines. You could be a very good painter or uh, whatever that means and not show up and miss out on experiencing, experimenting or, or uh, showing your work to more people or to a gallery or this or that. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that. I have videos that get into that. Check out my other videos <laughs> if you want me to ramble about that. <laughs> Because I can go on and on. <laughs> so, here we go. Just like that, guys. Don't overthink it. The more you overthink it, difficult it comes. You know, I feel like I feel like painting is like those those movies uh, when you're you're you're, you're uh, like Star Wars. You know, I feel like that's what it's like. Um, I know you guys are having a hard time. Like, what do you mean like Star Wars? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I said this is just me normally. I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not drunk or anything. Like, this is just this is just me. Um, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, use the force, you know, trust the force, it's really what it's about. That's what I meant by it. Just trust, trust the force. The more you, uh, sit there and be like, what, what, what am I gonna do? The, the more you start thinking, you start paralyzing, and then, and then 
See, there's, there's something in us that already knows what to do. I know it sounds weird, but I, I do believe it based on experience. There's something in us. There's, there's a level of intelligence that we have. And that level of intelligence grows more and more as you open the channel, like I said before, as you paint more, right? As you practice more, you're, what you're really doing is that you're, you're, you're preparing the ground. It's like, a, I don't know anything about agriculture, but I would assume that a better prepared ground would most likely give better fruit, right? I would assume, I don't know. But it's using that analogy, um, and I trust my God and go with that. Uh, that's, that's how artwork is. The more you prepare it, of course, the more you're going to be able to open up and, and be. And a great part of that is trust. There's a trust that needs to happen. And it's difficult to trust when, um, when you want to control. And, and I, I believe in artwork, uh, you do control, but the way you control is by not controlling. I know it sounds crazy. Hear me out. <laughs> What controls an artwork is your practice. Your practice will be the one controlling, not your, not your mind, not your, not your will. I know I'm going all super artsy here, but it really isn't your will that controls it. It's, 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 uh, it's the practice. If anything controls the artwork, it's a practice. And you are just there to allow it to to exist. Your your you're almost like a door for it. That's what I would I would think the artist is. You know, as people say, your eyes are the door to creating the artwork. I don't know. I've heard some some variation of that. Like it's it's through your eyes or whatever. Uh, to some degree, I think maybe yeah, but but I believe that it's it's more the other way around. It's more like you are the exit, not the entrance. You as an artist, you're the exit. You're not the entrance when it comes to creating artwork. See, I'm 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 allowing this to be. So, so I'm not controlling it, so therefore it's, it's existing, it's happening. It's not necessarily... Of course I have something to do with it. I practice, right? I, I became a, sort of like I said, you know, sort of like a channel for it. But it is not because, it is not because of me. It is through me that this is happening. Anything good, I believe, happens, happens through you, not because of you. All right. Anyways, I don't want to bore you guys with my with my uh, fluff, <laughs> but it is what it is. What can I say? It is what it is. Okay. go. Alright guys, the name is Jose Trujillo. I believe I'm the world's greatest living artist. My wife says that I'm funny by saying that, but I think she believes me too. She's just not, maybe not ready to hear it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. I start, certainly enjoy the hell out of it. I love painting. I am a painting machine and I believe that it is because of that that I am a great artist. I'm to sign my name and let this one be.
Oh, one more thing before I. I just had a little necessity to do this. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And let's see here. Till next time. Bye bye.